Hi, hello, 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 y'all. I'm trying to get you situated here. We're in the Walmart parking lot. Let me. We've got Chick-fil-A, honey. Let me get my mayonnaise packets out of there. Um, I got a Chick-fil-A deluxe with no cheese, no pickles. I know, I'm just not a, I'm not a pickle person. Um, and I also got the kale crunch salad with the roasted almonds to put on top. For drink, I got a diet lemonade, but I just went to Walmart and found a, I gotta shake it a little, a, a Kavita kombucha. This is the pineapple peach. And honey, I'm getting ready to go out of town. And you know, well, I don't know if you know, but I'm telling you if you don't know, my digestive system when I go out of town does not go, do very good. So I'm hoping that this little kombucha will help me get regulated before I go. I don't know that's probably too much information, but here we are. I said it before and I'll say it again. I love the opaque gray spoon or forks from Chick-fil-A. It's just a small touch that I love. It's all about the small touches, honey. Here's my delicious kale crunch salad. Um, I'll probably eat that first and then eat the sandwich second. So let me get my almonds sprinkled on here. They have recently, and I've talked about this before, upgraded the size of the kale crunch salad, which I'm not used to anybody ever upgrading anything. I'm used to downgrades. So thank you, Chick-fil-A, because it used to be much smaller. So let's give this a try. I needed some roughage today, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just need a little bit of roughage. The dressing on this kale crunch salad is so light, but so delicious. Mm. A lot of chewing going on. Yum, that is so good, y'all. If you are a kombucha fan and you're looking for a gateway kombucha that's not as strong as the GTS, this is a great one to grab. A little bit sweeter. Not quite as strong as the GTS. Um, I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. Going to New York tomorrow. Here's the schedule. New York, Thursday to Sunday. I come back Sunday, leave again the next Thursday, next Thursday, go to New York with a different set of friends, Thursday to Sunday, come back home till Friday, go to Savannah for Sarah's beach weekend. So there's a lot of trips happening. And I'm getting a little stressed because you know I don't do very well when I go out of town in terms of my eating. I feel okay. I went to Walmart. I'm sorry this is so chewy, y'all. I just can't be, I can't be that person that does mukbangs and smacks and chews with their mouth open. I just can't do it. I went to Walmart to get gowns for my trip. I want us all to have matching gowns. I know you've heard me talk about gowns. I literally sleep in a Walmart nightgown every night of my life. They are $7.98 by the brand Joy Spun. Um, go to your stores and see what different ones they have. Changes all the time. Um, between me and McKenzie, we probably have 30. But at $7 each, how are you going to argue? Let me show you. This one says, let's get lost. And it has mountainsides and a little creek. And it's just in this like burnt kind of salmon color. So cute. $7. Here's the brand, Joyspin. $7. 
and 98 cents. And I always get them in a 2X, 3X because I want them to be as big as humanly possible. I'm so excited. So that's why I'm in the Walmart parking lot currently. I cannot believe I'll leave tomorrow. I still can't wrap my head around that fact. I need to pack tonight. I need to do laundry, more laundry. Several things I need to get accomplished. I hope everybody's having a great week. Let's try the lemonade. This is their diet lemonade. It's good, <clears throat> but it's so strong. It's so tart and so overly sweet. I'm going to go home and water that down before I drink it. It's too much. I ran today for the first time in a long time. It felt amazing. I had like, I do yoga so much and the more that I run, this is just for me. The more I run, the worse my yoga is. And so, honey, as as we've discussed, and as you know, I have a very addictive personality when it comes to workouts. So it's like I find something I like and I just go crazy. And yoga is my end all be all right now. And so I never want to do anything that's going to like hinder my yoga and running all the time was hindering it. Y'all look at this. Chicken, bacon, tomato, lettuce, and I got no pickle. I know, I know, I know. And I am going to split this bad boy open like so. And we are going to put some mayonnaise on this chicken sandwich because honey, I'm sorry, but it's pretty much a law that you have to have mayonnaise on your chicken sandwich. I mean, hello. It's funny to me that there are some people that are so adamantly anti-mayonnaise. I don't understand it because I love it, but it's definitely a thing. It's definitely a thing. So let's get some mayonnaise on there. Y'all, their bacon is perfect at Chick-fil-A. I'm talking perfection. Let's scoot this over. I will say Chick-fil-A is one of the few places where your actual food looks like the menu. I mean, they do a good job. You gotta give it to them. Chick-fil-A knows how to do. Mm. Ah. I'm dropping my chicken down my shorts. When I tell y'all I was starving, I mean that. It's been a long time since lunch. Mm. So delicious. Somebody wanted me to talk about my intermittent fasting. Somebody in the comments. I will, but let me preface it as always by saying that I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not prescribing you to do anything. I'm telling you what I do. And what works for me, everybody is completely different. So uh, talk to your physician before you start any kind of a program. But this is what I do. <clears throat> I fast every day from 8 o'clock p.m. to 12 or 1 o'clock p.m. So from 8 p.m. till 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, I do not eat. I eat from 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock until 8. Um, the reason behind that, I can't be, it gives me self-control at night to know that once I've eaten my dinner, 
food is over. The kitchen's closed. I can't have anything. <laughs> I've now done this for probably going on two months. It just works really well for, consistently for two months. I've done it off and on, but I have really stuck to it for at least a solid two months, maybe three. I'm dripping, but I have a napkin. So, I kind of cheat because in the morning I do put sugar-free creamer in my coffee. I know like the fasting purists out there would say that's completely like against the law. I'm just telling you what works for me. I'm not really doing it for like any scientific research purposes. Um, I do it mainly, like I said, so that I will not eat at night. I've also never been a big breakfast person ever. I do love breakfast foods. I'm just not the type that wants to get up and eat like a big, huge breakfast at all. Doesn't appeal to me. I can have my coffee and be completely content until 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock p.m. That's just how I am. But... Let's say you're a huge breakfast person. You have to have breakfast. You can shift your intermittent fasting window. I do an eight minute, uh, eight minute, eight hour fasting window. I eat eight hours. I can eat during that time. Some people do six, some people do four, some people do 12, and you can also shift it. So let's say you wanted to eat breakfast, you wanted to do eight hours, and you wanted to start at 8 a.m. That means you would cut it off at five. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, no, 4. You would have to do 8 to 4. You could do 9 to 5. You can shift it around to whatever works for you. And I try to make better decisions. I mean, I know a fried chicken sandwich is not a good decision, but I also got a salad instead of fries, and I got a no-calorie lemonade. So it's like... I, I have to have treats like this to keep happy and to keep not being miserable. I can't eat healthy 24 seven to be happy. I just can't. A lot of y'all can and I think that's wonderful. I can't. I love good food way too much. And as many of you know, some of you may not know, I used to be, be very heavy set. When I was in high school, when I was in early college, I weighed 330 pounds. 330 pounds, I know. And so that fat boy still lives within me and still loves to eat good food. So honey, I, I just try to make better decisions. For example, I love a little bit of sweet at night after my dinner, so I'll go home tonight and have a little 150 calorie Halo ice cream bar, and that will completely satisfy me until tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will actually be on a different eating window because I teach in Johnson City from 10.45 until one. By the time I leave the studio and get home, it's like 2, 2.30 before I start eating. So tomorrow, I'll only eat between like 2.30 and six to seven. So like, it's just, it's whatever you wanna do. It can totally be catered towards how you need it to be for your life and for your food. Um, and I mean, that's what I do. I fast from that time. I try to make better decisions most of the time. And other than that, I live my life. Here's what I will say. And I worked at the YMCA for a long time and I saw a lot of people doing a lot of different things with their eating. If you go so crazy strict that you are 100% healthy, just eating the healthiest things you can ever imagine, the moment that you splurge, the moment that you stop doing that, even for a brief period of time, you put back weight on quick. I need, again, this is me, I need my body to be trained that we're gonna have some fun treats sometimes and you still need to make that work. Um, I also weigh myself religiously once a week. Sometimes I wait and do every two weeks, maybe every three weeks. 
but I definitely have an app in my phone and I keep track of my weight. Not religiously and not obsessively. I definitely don't weigh every day. Um, I do weigh on my scale, so it's always the same, and I try to, I try to weigh weekly um, around the same time. That just helps me stay in, you know, a range of weight that I like to be. For my body style, my height, my activity level, I like to stay anywhere between 160 pounds and 170 pounds. That's just, that's just where I thrive and like to be both from a physical standpoint and a mental well-being standpoint. Um, I didn't mean to get so preachy and like talk about this, but talking about fasting really kind of started that. Um, I struggle with, I'm going to go ahead and start hitting the house, but we're going to keep chatting. I struggle a lot still and always will and do with body dysmorphia in terms of I still see myself a lot of the time as the fat Tyler. I do. I know I'm not fat. I know that. Um, but if you have been very heavy and lost a considerable amount of weight, let me fix y'all. You just can't help feeling like that. Um, and for me, it's going to be like that way my entire life. I've, I've successfully had the weight off for, gosh, 12, 13, 14, 15 years, something like that. I'm 38 now, and when I started losing weight, I was probably in my early 20s. So, there you go. So, I've walked the walk and talked the talk, but it's never really fully out of me in terms of I'm always going to be stressed about my weight. I'm always going to be stressed about my eating. I think when I was that young, I really wrecked my personal metabolism. I know some people, you know, get active when they're very young and they have a good metabolism their whole life. And I think that's great. I think I probably ruined mine when I was younger and I'm constantly trying to make up for that. Um, but I do try to stay active. I mean, I have the TY Fit channel where I upload completely free workouts. It's in the description box below if you want to check that out. Um, I teach hot yoga, I take hot yoga, I like to run, I love to walk, especially in the summertime, love to walk. I love a walk after dinner, in fact, I'm taking a two mile walk tonight with Steph, I cannot wait. Um, so I just try to move a lot, make good-ish-er food choices, and live my life. I don't ever want to be completely controlled by food, I don't want to be the person that has to weigh themselves every day because I'm just so crazy about it. Like. I'm going to splurge. I'm going to do things like that. So the road is bumpy and we're going to end this y'all. I'm so sorry. I turned it into like a preaching sermon about weight. I just wanted to tell you about fasting and then I got off on a tangent, but what else do you expect on this channel? I love you all. And I mean it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, check out the Thai Fit channel, and I will see y'all next time. Love you. Mean it.